Oh man, isn't the Star Wars community such a like-minded and friendly and non-agitated community right now? I am obviously f***ing kidding. Everywhere I look right now, I see discourse in the fandom about the Acolyte trailer and everything going on with that. I have my own opinions on that. We're here to check out the Bad Bash. I think that this has been the best season so far. There's been absolutely no filler. Every episode has been important in some way or another, and it's moving at such a rapid pace. I mean, we're already halfway through this season, over halfway through the season. I think there's 15 episodes, so yeah, after tonight, we're more than halfway through the season. But we still got a lot of exciting stuff to look forward to. I mean, who is the identity of this clone that was fighting Crosshair at the end, the one who's been brainwashed? A lot of people were saying Tech, a lot of people were saying Cody. I really don't know yet. I kind of see Cody a little bit more than Tech. I, at least I'm hoping it's Cody over Tech because I really don't want Tech to just be brought back because they're just going to kill him again. I don't see any of the Bad Batch members besides Omega making it out of this season alive. And this has kind of been a doom and gloom season and I don't see that changing. I think it's going to get worse. But like I was saying, we still got a ton of stuff to look forward to. We haven't seen the bounty hunters yet like Fennec or Cad Bane. If Ventress is a bounty hunter at this point, I don't know how much they're messing with Canon with the Dark Disciple and everything like that. Who knows what they're going to change with that. But I'm excited to check out this episode. Before we get started, though, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications. Whatever you guys want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're interested in seeing the full-length version of this reaction or any other reaction that I have up on the channel, as well as early access to said reactions, you'll find them right here on YouTube on my membership page. So if you guys could check those out as well, I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, I'm super excited. So let's go. Pabu, where's Big Windu? We haven't seen him yet this season. I have to do something to help them. You are, by staying away. Yeah. Know more about why Hemlock's after you, and what his MCAN experiments mean. Until then, you have to lay low. So I take it they don't know what MCAN is? Seems that way. What do you got for us? I've been asking around about this MCAN thing. Word is, certain Class 1 bounty hunters have been retrieving M-Count targets for the Empire. Why? Hmm. You're better off asking a bounty hunter. We have run into a few. Yes, you have. But which one? Fennec Shand. She was hired by the Kaminoans to abduct. How are they going to find her? I can probably track Fennec down for you. But she's not going to hand over that information for free. Naturally. No, not at this point in her life. Yeah, that shaking is getting worse. Stay on Pabu and stay out of trouble. Both of you. Fine by me. What's the purpose of the thing on his shoulder? Like, is it just aesthetically or does it have an actual purpose? If so, I don't remember seeing it being used. Hmm. This looks like a fun place. Did I just see a razor crest? I'm gonna have to go back later. Was that one of Kiati Mundi's species? Looked like it. A <laughs> pit droid with a hat and goggles with two lenses? Why? We're in the middle of something here. Not anymore. I have no business with them. You do now. We're here for information. In that case, it's going to cost you. Yeah, we figured. Get out. <laughs> we hear the Empire has a bounty out for M count targets. Why do you want to know about that? That's our business. I think she's going to put it together. I might know someone who has. Can you put us in touch with them? Now that will definitely cost you. Ooh. There's a bounty I've been trying to bring in. Worth a lot. But he's been hard to catch without a crew. You'll be working for me. You follow through. I'll get you what you want to know. And so we're clear. I keep the payment. I don't recall them asking for anything. Money wise. I have exhausted all medical treatment options. Perhaps the issue is not something physical. You think it's in my head? If you were to elaborate more on the experimentation you were subjected to, I could determine the cause. <sighs> Forget it. Yeah, we really don't know. I mean, he seems to be traumatized by it. Whatever it was. So he won't talk about it. Her ship's cool. Silas Eris, the Slayer of Ordo Eris. 
Whoa, what a design. It looks like a bunch of different animals combined. Cricket a little bit. His legs are like crab claws. Or like the texture on like lobsters, crabs, whatever. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I know it's easier to get away with an animation, but my main complaint about a lot of the live action Star Wars shows is that the universe feels smaller. And I know a lot of that is restriction to like the volume, them using that a lot. And with the accolade, I know they didn't use any of the volume, but some of the shots in that trailer just looked so boxed in. And that's how I feel with a lot of the stuff. I mean, besides like Andor, I think the first couple of seasons of uh, Mandalorian were pretty good. Season three even felt more expansive, but everything else just feels so contained. And like I said, with animation, they can get away with it a little bit more, a lot more. But that doesn't change my view on it. Ten for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I love pit droids. I need to get like a life-size model and put it on the shelf back there. Like they're going gator hunting. It's like the Everglades. The area we're headed is extremely hostile, so always keep your eyes on the water. Why? Maybe there will be gators. Cut the engine. There's some type of mine up ahead. The hell? Better get in there and check it out. <sighs> Come on, Rekka. Yes, get in the nice clean water. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. One down, a lot to go. All right, at least they got set up on rocks now and not AZ holding them. Close doesn't count. It's either a hit or a miss. You're still more capable than most. <sighs> that is true. I have an idea, but you're going to have to trust me. I'm not going to like it, am I? You don't like anything. <sighs> True. That has been one of the strongest aspects of this season so far is their relationship, which is just going to make it hurt even more towards the end if what I think is coming is coming. What did I say? Gators, kind of. Whoa. Dude, they're literally just gators. Get so into fighting creatures, fighting anybody. You think you could do better without us? I wouldn't be doing any worse. Even Omega got away from you. But you don't get in the water, so you would have been screwed. Seems odd. You're both willing to work for me, considering our past. That information must really be important to you. Like I said, she's putting it together. And I guess you'll work for anybody as long as you get paid. Good guys, bad guys, their money is all the same. It's bounty hunters for you. This is so dark. Like, dude, the brightness on my monitor is turned all the way up. I get they're going for realism, but I also want to be able to see what's happening. I'm hearing like the same creature sound effects as whenever Luke landed on Dagobah. Like the big bats flying around and shit. Oof. Praying Mantis. That's what he looks like. Did I say Cricket before or did I say Praying Mantis? I, I don't know. Target went underground. Underground? You heard me. <laughs> Dude is so big. You think I'd let you slip away from me again? <laughs> yeah, if Wrecker doesn't go down to stun blast, that thing's not going down to stun blast. Okay, or, or maybe Wrecker's got it handled. No, he doesn't. There you go. Grab him and let's go. Tie him up. What are we doing? It's meditation. It'll help you heal. Where did you learn this? I picked it up from my friend Gunji and the other Wookiees on Kashyyyk. I was going to say. You've missed a lot. I know. Now, 
close your eyes and focus. Good shot. Like I said, I didn't think I'd like their relationship as much as I'm enjoying it. It's the heart of the season so far. You promised us information. I didn't say I had it on me. You can either fight me or trust me. Good choice. I'll be in touch. <laughs> How long are we going to have to wait for this information, though? I just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M count bounties. Who is she talking to? I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. What? Ventress, maybe? That would make sense. That would make sense. M count. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, that was another pretty good episode. It, it wasn't my favorite. I just think it was it was good. Like, it wasn't bad at all. I didn't think it was meh. It had fun elements. But this was probably the closest thing we've gotten to filler so far, even though I, I really don't like using that word, especially whenever it's a show like this where they are doing a lot of world building, a lot of character building and relationship building in this in this aspect because whenever they were cutting back to uh, Omega and Crosshair, that like I said, that is the strong suit of this season, it's the heart of this season, and I didn't think that I would like them as much as I do. But whenever Hunter and Wrecker first sat down at the table with Fennec and she was like, "I'll help you guys, but first you got to help me with this." I was like, "Okay, I, I see what they're doing with this." But also it's a logical reason, so I don't really consider that as filler cuz they had to do it in order to get the information it's just we, we, we don't need to see that like this is the kind of episode that would not fare well in in live action because a lot of the live action series have like six or eight episodes so like spending an entire episode just kind of doing things for the sake of information has also been a trend in in disney star wars and i think that's one that a lot of people are getting tired of and when i say disney star wars i don't mean like the the force awakens and everything on i just mean like the disney plus shows that's what i particularly mean but i liked this world that they went to and what i was trying to say during the reaction i don't know if i made myself clear enough or if i emphasized my point enough but everything in live action while well, i'm still on the live action topic Everything in live action seems so boxed in in compared to the animated stuff. I get why though, because in animation they have free range to do whatever and create whatever they want. They can go to planets that we couldn't really do easily with uh, modern visual effects in live action. I mean, we have the volume, but I know they're tending to rely on that a little bit less now because it has been called out for a lot of its usage in like The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett especially Kenobi and Kenobi is the real one where it's like everything feels so boxed in and if it doesn't if it's on an alien planet it feels like they're on a soundstage like it's just like the uh arena part where Vader and Reva Reva whatever her name was are fighting that feels like a soundstage and just the way it was lit I know like natural lighting from the orange sun sky whatever but like just the way it was lit the way it was shot it just felt so contained and that's really one of my bigger complaints with a lot of the Disney plus Star Wars shows whenever it comes to the look story wise I have a ton of different issues on but that that's that's we'll save that for another day but I thought this Everglades like area that they went to with like the gators and the the pontoon boat I thought that was really cool and this dude like the uh praying mantis like thing that is a gnarly design and now that I'm thinking back to it we see a big praying mantis like thing in uh not only the Mandalorian, uh, what's her face, is playing cards in like the second episode of the Mandalorian after Din comes back with Boba's armor to the cantina, we see her, uh, Peli, that's her name, Peli Moto. She's, she's playing cards or Sabacc with one of these creatures or at least somebody adjacent, a uh, creature adjacent to that species. And then we also see one in A New Hope, I believe, in the same cantina. So that's a nice callback there. Question is, who is she talking to at the end? I think it's Ventress. We got to be coming up on those episodes soon because I'm thinking the last four or three episodes are going to be Clone Rebellion stuff. I think that's going to take up a big chunk of the last few or several episodes of this season, or should I say later half of this season. I think that we're going to start seeing these other bounty hunters within the next two or three episodes. Like Cad Bane's probably going to show up very soon, and I think she was talking to Ventress. I don't know what they're doing with the Dark Disciple stuff that hasn't been clear, like I said in the intro. I don't know if they're keeping that as canon or messing with it because they have said time after time again 
that they respect the lore and the current canon, and then they change it. But I think she's talking to Ventress. I know in Dark Disciples, she is with Quinlan. So maybe we'll see him too. And then he was mentioned in Kenobi with the path getting force users out. So her knowing about M count stuff and that whole ordeal would make a lot of sense as to why Fennec was like, oh yeah, I know somebody who can help you with that. So I'm thinking it's Ventress. I think a lot of you are going to agree with me. But like I said, another enjoyable episode, probably the weakest from this season so far, but that's not really saying much because every episode has been really good so far there hasn't been a bad episode or even mid episode in this season i know some people will disagree call this mid fine whatever seeing it is, is a little bit of filler but i disagree i had a fun time with it let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications whatever you guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you're interested in seeing the full length version of this reaction or any of the reaction that i have up on the channel as well as early access to said reactions you'll find them right here on youtube on my membership page so if you guys could check those out as well i would greatly appreciate it so hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one